the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night message on this Monday, the 4th of March, 2024, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message in line with the first reading of today, entitled, Lessons from the Story of Naaman. Today we read from the second book of Kings, chapter 5, verse 1 to 15, the famous story of Naaman. Naaman was a commander esteemed by many, but he carried within him a burden, leprosy. He sought a cure and found himself on a journey to see Elisha, the prophet of God. This journey represents our own quest for healing and restoration when faced with challenges that seem insurmountable. Like Naaman, we may feel overwhelmed by our circumstances. We might question why these trials have come upon us or how we will ever find the strength to overcome them. But let me remind you that even in our darkest moments, there is always hope. Naaman's story teaches us several valuable lessons. One, Humility brings forth miracles. Initially, Naaman approached Elisha with great pride and arrogance. But when he humbled himself and followed Elisha's instructions, he experienced complete healing. Let this be a reminder that humility opens doors to miracles in our lives. Two, divine intervention works through unexpected means. Naaman expected grand gestures from Elisha, but instead received simple instructions to wash himself in the Jordan River seven times. Similarly, our breakthroughs may not always come in ways we anticipate. It is crucial to remain open-minded and receptive to all possibilities. 3. Faith requires action. Naaman had to take action. He had to step into the river waters obediently despite his doubts. Likewise, it is essential for us to actively engage with our faith and trust that even small steps forward can lead to significant transformations. For miracles are meant to be shared. After being healed, Naaman returned to Elisha filled with gratitude and offered gifts as an expression of thankfulness. Similarly, when we experience victories in our own lives, let us not hesitate to share our stories of hope and encouragement with others. Our experiences can inspire those who are still searching for their breakthrough. Remember, dear friends, that the story of Naaman is not just a tale from the past. It is a testament to the enduring power of hope and faith. No matter how dire your circumstances may seem, hold on to the belief that there is always a way forward. The journey towards healing and restoration might be challenging, but like Naaman's story teaches us, miracles are waiting on the other side. May this story remind you that every setback is an opportunity for a comeback. Embrace humility, take action with unwavering faith, and never forget to share your victories with those around you. Hold fast to hope because brighter days are ahead. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as a dreams. Same to you, Father.